The chairwoman of the Federal Reserve, Janet Yellen, makes her debut tomorrow. What are the markets looking for? I'm Jack Otter, editor of Barron's.com. I'm here with Mike Nero, who writes the Income Investing blog. So tomorrow's the big day, her first press conference. No Ben Bernanke, spotlight mm -hmm. on Janet Yellen. Mm -hmm. What's the market looking for? market is looking for specificity. Specificity. Mm -hmm. uh, so what do they want to know? And let's, let's, let's be cheery today, because okay. bonds get kind of you know, dull. So what's the good news? What are the, what are the bond traders, we'll stay away from stocks for the moment, okay. what are the bond traders on their edge of this, their seats hoping that Janet says? Uh, basically, this is our first view into Janet Yellen's thinking. Uh, it's her first meeting as chair, and it's going to be her first press conference. So bond markets are trying to discern what her take on, you know, what, how her policy under her is going to deviate, if at all, from her predecessor. And there are two tracks to that. One is the bond buying program, quantitative easing. Markets expect that to continue to be wound down, as it's been doing under Bernanke. And the, sh the transition is expected to be toward the Fed's forward guidance on short-term interest rates, and that's what bond markets are going to be focused on. So helicopter Ben, obviously you don't mm -hmm. even hear that term anymore because he lived up to that reputation early on and he dropped the money from the helicopter. But Janet Yellen is said to be even a little more dovish than he is. And I think mm -hmm. where this comes in is the uh, unemployment rate. Mm -hmm. So his target was 6.5%. Once we hit there, he said that's a signal the economy is in better shape. We don't have to be quite so generous with the money printing. But now the thinking is that maybe she'll find a way to be even more generous. Yeah, it's as we transition away from bond buying to interest rate guidance as a means of Fed policy, that 6.5% unemployment threshold that you talked about, it's very viewed by markets as a stale number. The Fed hasn't updated that in a while. And in the meantime, the unemployment rate has come down. It's now at 6.7%. Yet markets believe that the economy isn't as healthy as the Fed thought it would be originally when it put that threshold in place. So what markets are expecting from this meeting is a, an overhaul from the Fed of what it is looking at when it looks at the health of the labor market and the economy. And that's the big thing that they're expecting tomorrow. So she thinks that, uh, they think that she'll say maybe, well, 6.5%, but still, you know, long-term unemployment is painful, so maybe we'll wait until something farther out mm -hmm. uh, to start getting more aggressive. Mm -hmm. So what's the bond trader's reaction to that, if, if in fact that's what we get from her? Well, if we get some more certainty from her, what's going to happen, kind of first of all, is that if markets believe that the Fed is going to keep interest rates low for longer, uh, that's probably actually going to hurt bonds because it's going to help stocks. Uh, equities and risk assets are going to say, hey, we know that we can count on the Fed uh, for this longer period of time based on this, this guidance and this way to interpret incoming economic data that they're giving us. We have greater certainty now about how to interpret that. That could help risk assets. That in turn could hurt longer dated bonds, which tend to move uh, opposite to stocks. You know, even if the Fed is going to keep short-term rates low, longer term bond rates could rise. So bottom line, if she proves to be dovish, you could see maybe the 10 year, the 30 year ticking up a little bit, mm -hmm. but we might see green arrows in the stock market. Exactly. Thanks very much, Mike.